Hello, my dear grandchildren. I have a different sort of book here today to read to you. It's called Alfie's World, a Celebration, and it's by Shirley Hughes. And it's about Alfie and Annie Rose and Chessie, their cat. And uh, let's see, there's one of their little stuffies that they play with. It's about these characters that we're used to seeing in the books but it's a little bit different because there's only one real story in it. The rest of it is things about the people and the places um, that are in the other Alfie books. It gives us a little bit of information about those people and places, and I think you'll find it interesting. Um, there, is the, there is one story in here um, and it's at the back of the book. So I'm going to actually split up how I read this. I'll read the first part today, and the next time I record, I'll read the story, the actual story that's in here. It's a little bit longer than the other pages that I'll read today, okay? So for now, let's see what this is about, Alfie's World, my little friend Alfie. That's from when he went camping, isn't it? You'll recognize some of the pictures because they're from some of the other books that we've read. Some of them are new and a lot of them are pictures we've already seen before. See, that's one we've seen before, isn't it? But it'll tell us some interesting things about Alfie and the people that he, um, that are part of his family, okay? This is how Alfie made his first appearance, running home up the street ahead of his mum, who came trundling behind with the shopping and Annie Rose in the buggy. That's from the story, Alfie gets in first, isn't it? Remember that one? Alfie is an ordinary little boy. He has a mum and a dad and a little sister called Annie Rose. He has no magical powers, and he does not go on fantastic journeys into space or anything like that. But some very exciting and interesting things happen to him all the same. He's not a superhero, although he could pretend to be a superhero like sometimes you do, he couldn't be. So here's Faces, bodies, hands, and feet. Alfie has good moods and bad moods, like everybody else. This is how he looks when he is puzzled, for instance, or happy or cross or pleased with himself. Hmm. Which one do you think each of these is? What do you think? Can you tell how Abby, how, sorry, how Alfie feels based on the picture and what his face looks like? Hmm. What's he feeling like in that one? Can you make a guess? What about this one? He looks like he's ready to laugh, doesn't he? How about that one there? Does he look a little worried, maybe? Maybe a bit worried? There's some more here on the next page. There he is kicking with the boots that we saw him get and running. He's just happy, right? Is he happy in that picture? Well, he looks sad, doesn't he? What about in these down here? Maybe tired or a little worried. And what do you think about this picture? He's not a little bit worried. He's a lot upset there, isn't he? And that picture, that one's when Alfie's very young. 
I don't know if any of the stories started when he was that young. He's not much bigger than any Rose is in most of the stories. It says faces tell you a lot about how people are feeling, but there is plenty of expression in their bodies, arms, and legs too. Well, that's true, isn't it? Like in this picture, his arms show that he's upset or worried. And in this one, it's just kind of pick me up. I feel terrible, right? And that's such a happy picture. Just snuggled up with his blanket and feeling happy. A happy baby. Happy baby Alfie. Alfie's mum. Okay, so there's some pictures of Alfie's mum. Alfie's mum is called Jessica Mary. I did not know that. Jessica Mary. She has reddish brown curly hair, which often gets untidy, but Alfie likes it like that. She sometimes gets cross when she loses things or when there are too many toys lying all over the floor. But she is especially good at making up pretend games and reading stories. Alfie's mom or mom. And who's this person here? That's Alfie's dad, right? Alfie's dad is called Simon. He is good at lots of things. He can draw funny faces and mend things are, that are broken and run with Alfie on his back. He is not especially good at camping but at bedtime, when Annie Rose has gone to sleep, he and Alfie have some great chats together. That's Alfie's dad. So Jessica Mary is his mom and Simon is his dad. Oh, we all know who this is. Annie Rose is only just learning to talk, but she knows how to get what she wants. If she is in a good mood, that's when she was smaller and she was just a crawling baby, right? If she is in a good mood, she and Alfie play games together. And she likes it when he shows her the pictures in his books. One annoying thing about Annie Rose is that she keeps wanting to play with Alfie's toys. Hmm, baby brothers or baby sisters or other babies who are around, little cousins. Sometimes they want to play with your toys instead of their own, don't they? One nice thing about her is that she always thinks Alfie's jokes are funny. Annie Rose can change from a bad mood. Oh dear, that's a bad mood, isn't it? To a calm down and good mood very quickly. Yep, that's Annie Rose. A lot of babies are like that, aren't they? Alfie's house. So this is all about Alfie's house. The house where Alfie lives stands in a row of houses which look rather the same on the outside but inside they are all very different, and so are the people who live in them. 
all the houses have back gardens. A back garden, or we would call it a backyard. Okay, so here's the picture of the backyards or the back gardens. Okay. And then it leads out to the street there. I want to show you as much of the picture as possible. See, here's the, here are the houses, the backs of the houses. And there's the other street. And then these are the little yards that the children and moms and dads and everybody can play in and, and spend time in. Okay, so let's see what it says. <clears throat> if you look hard at the picture of the gardens, you can see Alfie and Annie Rose playing with the hose pipe. You see they're playing with the hose. Spraying, it must be nice and warm out, right? Playing with the hose. And their cat, Chessie, and Mum having a nice sit down on a garden chair. Next door is their neighbor, Ron. Sorry, Ron Atkinson. He's doing some weeding. Okay. Then the house next door to that is where the Santos twins, Carlos and Nico, live. They go to Parkside Primary School, where Alfie will go when he is a big boy. On the corner of the st street is Mr. Patel's shop. I'm not sure which one is Mr. Patel's shop. Do you have any idea? I suppose it might be this. That might be Mr. Patel's shop. Or around here, I'm not sure. Or maybe even here. On the corner of the street is Mr. Patel's shop where you can buy sweets and ice creams. That would be nice to have that so close, wouldn't it? Alfie's neighbors there's one of his neighbors. Right across the street from Alfie's house live the McNally family. Jean, Bob, and their daughter Maureen. So that's Maureen right there. Do you see that instrument she has in her hand? She's playing music on it. Okay, and there's Jean and Bob. And there's Maureen, that's their family. Maureen is a big girl who rides around on her new bicycle and plays the saxophone in the school jazz band. If you want to listen to the sound of a saxophone, you can ask a grown-up to help you listen to the sound of a saxophone so you'll know what Maureen's saxophone sounded like or sounds like. Maureen sometimes comes to babysit for Alfie and Annie Rose when mom and dad go out. She tells Alfie lots of interesting things about the films she has seen and the pop stars that she likes. Maureen is very keen on saving the planet. This is difficult because there are so many silly people who throw litter about. But if anyone can do it, Maureen can. You're not one of those silly people who throws litter about, are you? No, we wouldn't want to do that. We put it in a trash can. Find a trash can, and if you don't know where one is, ask a grown-up. That was the time that the pipe burst and all the water came in through the ceiling, wasn't it? Cats. Mm, that's a cool picture of Alfie and Annie Rose's cat, right? Alfie's family cat is called Chessie because she is black and white like a chessboard. 
She is fun to play with when she is in a good mood, but she runs off when Annie Rose tries to squeeze her too hard or hang on to her tail. Yes, kitty cats do not like that, do they? We have to be very gentle to kitties and to doggies and other pets. For many years, the McNallys had a cat called Smokey. Everyone was very sad when he died, especially Bob. So Maureen gave him a kitten, which they called Boots. There's Boots. Because he had white paws. Now Boots has grown up. He's not a kitten anymore. He's grown up into a fine, friendly cat who everyone likes. Everybody likes Boots. He's a friendly cat, except Chessie. Boots and Chessie eye one another across the street. And if they get any closer, there is sometimes a fight. Hmm. So those kitty cats do not like each other. Kitties are often not friendly with other cats. Now this is very interesting because this is about Alfie's toys. And we know that he loves his toy elephant. And this is a picture of his toy elephant. But this right here is a photograph of a toy elephant. So apparently when Mrs. Shirley Hughes was making the pictures for this book, or for the, all of these books, she took a real toy, maybe one that one of her children had, or maybe one she had, and she drew the picture to look like the real toy. Alfie's special friend is his elephant, Flumbo. He was knitted by an old lady and he is nearly as old as Alfie. So that's the real Flumbo. And then that's toy Flumbo in the stories. One terrible day, some moths were found living in Flumbo's inside stuffing. Uh-oh. He had to be unpicked and restuffed, but he is feeling ever so much better and much younger now. Can't have him with moths in him if Alfie's going to take him to bed with him. So they had to fix Flumbo. Alfie has another stuffed toy called Wilsden, who is very proud to have his name on a London bus. He is quite sure that the bus company have called the bus after him, though it was really the other way round, and it was Alfie who thought of giving him that name. So again, there is the picture the drawing of Will's Den. There is a bus with the name on it. Buses in, many of the buses in England where Shirley Hughes lives, many of them have two parts. You can sit upstairs in the top or you can sit downstairs here. They're called double-decker buses. Isn't that a nice name? Double-decker buses. And it's very fun to sit up in the top. You can see so many things. And then here is the real, the photograph of the real Will's Den that Shirley Hughes made a picture of for, or made pictures of for the books. Nice, huh? What else? Oh, Annie Rose's toys. My goodness, Annie Rose has a lot of toys. Okay. Annie Rose has a lot of toys. She likes to have the cuddly ones in her cot at bedtime, but not Elizabeth, her best doll, who has her own bed and a special box for all her pretty clothes. 
So this is Buttercup, her lamb, Teddy One Ear, Teddy Big, Daffodil, Portly Pig, Mr. Bones, Bonnie, Raggedy Ann, and beautiful Elizabeth. She's the one who has her own clothes and her own special bed. So she doesn't go in Annie Rose's cot. We do know that that Annie Rose likes to take her toys and throw them out of her bed at night, right? And that might not be very good for this special dolly, Elizabeth. Okay. And there's some photographs of some more of the toys, specifically the ones that belong to Annie Rose, okay? Daffodil is a knitted duck, and Mr. Bones is a very old toy dog. They once belonged to Alfie, but he has now decided that they are rather babyish and has kindly passed them on to Annie Rose. That was very sweet, wasn't it? Annie Rose is very fond of her toys although she sometimes throws them about. Buttercup, also known as love -Dees, is Annie Rose's most favorite toy. She often goes out with Annie Rose in the buggy and great care has to be taken to make sure that she does not fall out or get lost. Yes, we don't wanna lose our special stuffies, do we? Don't wanna lose any of them. But the most special ones, it's especially important to keep track of. Grown-ups can help with that. All right, Alfie's friends. Alfie has, a, has lots of friends. They go to nursery school together and play at each other's houses afterwards. That's nice, isn't it? So here's the names of some of his friends. There's Bernard and Daniel and Min. This is Kate and Sarah and Sam and Lucille. They all look so, like such nice children, don't they? This here is Kareem and this is Freddie. They go to one another's birthday parties, too. We saw that, didn't we? Remember when they went to the birthday party and it was Bernard's party and Bernard's mom was blowing bubbles? There's Sarah and Alfie blowing, uh, catching the bubbles or looking at the bubbles. Annie Rose, this is Annie Rose's friends. Annie Rose's best friends are Marion, right here, and Lily. See Annie Rose in the middle? Marion and Lily and Annie Rose right there in the middle. That's Annie Rose's friends. And when she's older and she goes to school, she'll have more friends, won't she? School is a very nice place. Preschool or other schools, it's a very nice place for making friends. Bernard. Bernard is Alfie's best friend. He is not always quiet or well behaved. Mm, we know that, right? His best game is pretending to be a monster or a savage animal. Bernard. He does not have any little brothers or sisters. Only one big bro brother, excuse me, only one big brother who goes to college. This is just as well because his mom, there's Bernard's mom, his mom finds Bernard quite tiring sometimes. But she is sure that one day he will grow up to have perfect manners. 
some children find Bernard a bit frightening. Remember when he scared men or upset men because he broke the bubble that was on her sleeve? And here he is with his tiger mask and the children look kind of frightened of him. Lucille and Sam and Sarah, they look kind of frightened of him, don't they? Do you know anybody like that who likes to play kind of loud, kind of get in people's faces? Some children just enjoy playing that way. Some children don't like it and some children do. Alfie likes it because he's, at, he's Bernard's best friend. How about Annie Rose? Does she like Bernard? She sure does, doesn't she? But he is one of Annie Rose's favorite people. She always looks for him when he comes out of nursery school and waves her arm, arms about when she sees him. One of the first proper words Annie Rose learned to say was Bernard. She thinks his gorilla imitations are wonderful. Annie Rose really likes Bernard, doesn't she? Playing. Alfie and Annie Rose's best time for playing together is in the early morning before Mom and Dad wake up. That looks like an early morning game, doesn't it? They have some good games in the back garden, too. Alfie's favorite game when he's playing on his own, favorite games when he's playing on his own, are with his cars and trains. Looks like he's playing with some blocks, too. He's made a very good tunnel with blocks. When Bernard comes to play at Alfie's house, Annie Rose always wants to join in, but they won't often let her. them playing. They've got their shirts pulled up over them and they're trying to scare Chessie. That might not be very kind. We hope Chessie runs away. I hear they're playing pirates. That looks like a good game. Got a pirate sword, pirate hats. And here, I don't know what they're playing. Something silly. Annie Rose is part of that game. <clears throat> Excuse me. But sometimes Bernard kindly gives her rides, pushing her about on the floor in a cardboard box. That is her favorite game. In the park. In the park where Alfie often plays, there are plenty of big trees and lots of grass to run around on. A fountain and a sand pit and places to climb and a pond with ducks. There is a statue of a very grand gentleman sitting high up on his chair. Once upon a time, he was so grand that when he went out, he wore a top hat and the whole park was his back garden. Now where he sits, now there he sits with the pigeons and ducks for company. So there's the grass to play on. Looks like they've got a ball, right? Children running and playing. There's the statue of the very grand gentleman. Right? And then these are some things that they like to do in the park. You can see the ducks. Oh, you can get an ice cream cone. Children playing together. Oh, this boy has some roller skates on. And running. And it looks like they're having a nice picnic down there. Isn't that nice? Having a picnic. Have you been on a picnic before? 
can be a very nice thing to do when the weather is warm. Something special about eating outside. Pets. Pets. Alfie's very good friend, the milkman, and his wife. So there's the milkman. There's his wife. Alfie's very good friend, the milkman, and his wife have a black and white dog. Remember when we met this little doggie when it was just a puppy? He have they have sorry, they have a black and white dog called Jacko. He was a poor little stray puppy when the milkman found him, and Alfie remembers seeing him fast asleep, curled up in a hat in the milkman's van. Remember that? Now Jacko is a grown up dog and he once won first prize in a pet show. That's very nice, isn't it? Alfie's friend, Sarah, has a pet goldfish, Gobolino. <laughs> That's a fun name, isn't it? Gobolino. That's the goldfish's name, who lives in a little tank of his own with weeds and shells and a plastic mermaid. This is a mermaid. Don't know if that's a word you're familiar with, but that's Gobolino, and this is his little tank with his plastic mermaid. Mm, look at this. When Alfie and Annie Rose go to play with their friends Min and her little sister Lily, they are allowed to stroke their two beautiful rabbits, Bianca and Domino. So Min is Alfie's friend and they go to school together, remember, and Lily is one of Annie Rose's friends and they are sisters, see? Lily and Min, they're sisters, and they have pet bunny rabbits. Can you see them? Pet bunny rabbits. And the children, Alfie and Annie Rose, are really liking petting those bunny rabbits, aren't they? But you have to be very, very gentle with bunnies. Bianca is a white rabbit with pink eyes and pink insides to her ears. Domino's eyes are brown, and she has black and white fur. So which, which rabbit is which? Can you tell? Which one is Bianca? Bianca is a white rabbit. Which one is Bianca? This one right here that Annie Rose and Lily are petting. And the other, the other Rabbit, do you remember what it's called? It's called Domino. It's a black and white rabbit with brown eyes. Okay, that's the last page we're going to read for t for now. And then there's a, there's a very there's a map and a story left in the book. So I will read those to you next time. I hope you enjoyed this book. I love you.